Hey lovies, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been such a long time, but I wanted to come to you real quick just to give you a, a tutorial on a wash and go. So we're going to be doing a wash and go on 4C or type 4 low porosity hair. Um, right now what I'm doing is just trying to do a co-wash. So I'm warming up the hair strands. Um, we're using warm water. So a big tip for low porosity hair to open up these strands because you're tightly closed use warm water and that opens up the strand so it allows moisture to come in. So the first step that I'm doing is just applying the conditioner because we're co-washing which is just washing only with conditioner. So we're doing that right now just as we would do a shampoo just to wash her hair. Then I'm just using my fingers just to detangle. This is called finger detangling. Um, you'll notice that throughout this whole process, I'm not gonna use any kind of tools or anything in her hair. Just want to finger detangle her hair just so that I can feel all well, the knots, if there are any knots, um, so it's not ripping through her hair or anything. Um, so this process, I'm just finger detangling her hair. Make sure whenever you are detangling your hair to um, have your hair extremely wet or full of product or something, just never detangle on what dry hair. Just more detangling while conditioner is in it, just to make the hair tingle proof. <laughs> and ready for this wash and go. And what also helps too is when you're actually pouring the water on the hair, you can use your finger just to detangle. Because I feel like with the water actually pouring on the hair, it helps a lot better too to detangle the hair. Especially when you have a hard time detangling the hair. So right now, I'm going to basically um, split the hair up into sections. And this is how we're going to start the actual washing go process. So starting with this section, we still have some conditioner on the hair. I leave the conditioner in all the hair just so it doesn't dry out quickly. Um, so I'm still, you know, finger detangling. I'm going to wash out the conditioner and then we'll start the, the actual wash and go process. And throughout this, as I said, use warm water just to make sure the cuticles are opened. So it doesn't repel any kind of product that you do put on the hair. And this is, of course, again, for low porosity hair. So today's product we're going to be using is um, Kinky Curly Not Today. This is the leave-in conditioner um, and detangler. So I put that on her hair using my fingers again, detangling it. Um, something that it can also help too is with all your products that you use, if you warm it up a little bit too, this also helps to penetrate the strands better. Um, with our low porosity hair, as I said, it's hard to have moisture come in. But once we get the moisture in, we're able to seal it and stay in. you see um, as going through using my fingers it, I think it helps the curls to clump better honestly um, and as you see with just the leave-in conditioner her hair already is starting to clump and this is just with the conditioner so I take everything step by step little strands by little strands just to make sure everything's evenly coated So after I make sure that all this is thoroughly gone through, I'm going to apply the Kinky Curly Custard Gel. Don't use that much and uh, go through, use my fingers and just rake it through. And as I said, using fingers for some reason makes it, I feel the curls clump a lot better. I'm just taking my time, breaking the product through, and look how lovely these curls are popping. <laughs> I'm 
And I basically here, I'm gonna do this for the whole part of right here, but make sure to do it in sections and work in sections to make sure that each of your strands are quoted properly. I think that this also helps prevent the single strand knots um, as much when you actually coat it fully with a leave-in and coat it fully with a custard or gel. Um, you find less single strand knots when you do it this way. And then your curls become so much more defined when you take your time and actually go section by section, strand, almost strand by strand. And look, that was before. <laughs> and this is after. Look at all these clumped up curls. And this is the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much.